Hey everybody, Kay here from my late bloomer homestead in Tennessee and I've been growing a lot of okra and I've been eating it every day and I think gee it would be so nice to have a little okra in the winter. So I harvested yesterday about enough for two quart bags to put in the freezer and I'm going to show you the very easy way to freeze okra. First you want to get it washed up. I like to use my veggie spray to get off all dust and possible bugs. I had one bug going across the counter. So now our okra is clean and I'm going to cut off the tops. I'm going to slice it about a half an inch, all the pieces. Then we're going to put it on a piece of parchment on a baking tray and put it in a 300 degree oven for just three to four minutes. You don't want to cook it. You just want to warm it up. And it's recommended to do this. You can freeze it fresh without doing this step, but they recommend to do it because it helps to preserve the enzymes and the color of the food and everything. So it doesn't take that long. It's three minutes in the oven. Why not? So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> My favorite way to eat okra is southern style, rolled in cornmeal and fried, either in a little bacon fat or you can use vegetable oil. This is getting a little on the long side. It's pretty tough, but I am going to use it. Next year I'm going to grow more okra so I can be as selective as I want. I would wager that if you sat in the garden for an hour, you could see okra growing. It's truly, I bet it grows an inch a day or two because I will go out there and something will be small and I'll say, let me give it another day and I'll forget to go. I'll go two days later and it's six to 10 inches long. And it's just hard as a rock. People say you either love okra or you hate it. And I never really liked it that much growing up. But I found that I missed southern food being away from the south for such a long time. I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to have okra in the winter. My my grandmother had a chest freezer and we would go down on Sundays after church. 
about once a month and down to Alabama and we would open that chest freezer and it would be loaded to the gills with all the vegetables she had grown and put away. You're just heating it up. As soon as that cools off a little bit, I'll put it in the bags. That's a good serving size for me. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll share my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell for notifications scroll down and hit all so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.